I love being with the children. They just like brighten my day. There's a joy to see them in the morning. Oh, thank you. Is this for me? It was very hard in the beginning because I had a lot of criers and stuff, but now to see them walk in happy and hugging me, it's just like, ah, uh, I love it. <laughs> I see a lot of little sponges, minds, just absorbing everything that they're learning. Um, because now they're learning not only their social skills, but also like, you know, um, language, vocabulary. Uh, and even though to us it might seem like it's something very simple as asking to go to the restroom or asking for a Kleenex and how to say please and thank you, it's something that they weren't, uh, a lot of them were not used to using in their vocabulary. So I love seeing that, the way that they're able to just follow the routines and get along with one another and just, uh, just doing what they're doing, you know, being children, playing and learning. I love to see that. I'm hoping that you will see a student that has grown um, socially, emotionally, and skillfully. Uh, I work with the three-year-olds, so when they come in, they some of them don't even know how to speak. Some of them are not trained to go to the bathroom yet. Um, so I'm hoping that by the end of the year, you're going to see a child that has uh, an expanded vocabulary as to how they were at the beginning. Um, a student who is a little bit more um, responsible and self, um, inde well, independent, a little bit more independent than how they were at the beginning. So, and, and a child that will love coming back to school next year. Nowadays, I think it's very hard um, kids knowing how to play because you actually have to teach them how to play. Uh, they're so used to being on a device all the time and so it's nice to see them actually getting a doll and playing with a doll and building with blocks and coloring and how to hold a, a crayon the wrong way but they're actually trying so I think it's awesome when, when you see them do all of that.